Hi friends, now in this section we will study the concept of percentage voltage drop. What is the meaning of this uh, percentage voltage drop and how this one is applicable to our basically uh, uh, daily electrical system. So let's go to our blackboard here. So let's draw a source. I will draw a voltage source here. Okay. And I will draw here a line. This is basically the line resistance and this is the load. Okay. And let's draw also here the internal resistance of the source shown as in series. So let's see this is one ohm the internal resistance of the source is equal to 1 ohm internal resistance and the resistance of the line cables is also 1 ohm okay and this is the load here let's see and our supply voltage here is for example 100 volts okay this is the source which is supplying the voltages. When we measure the potential difference across this generator when supplying no load, no load voltages of this source is 100 volts. So there is no resistance voltage drop across uh, the generator internal resistance. So we measure at 100 volts. Now we will see if, for example, 1 volt. 1 ampere is flowing, 1 ampere of load current is flowing through this circuit. So the IL, this is the load current, is 1 ampere. So case 1, when the load current is equal to 1 ampere, okay, so if the 1 ampere is flowing, the voltage drop across the internal resistance of the generator is equal to 1 volts so the voltage that we appear across the generator terminal which is Vs at 1 ampere Vs equal to 100 minus 1 supply voltage will be equal to 99 volts because now 1 volt is dropped across the internal resistance of the source and this is the line and it is 1 ohm and 1 ampere is flowing so 1 volt will be dropped across the line through uh, when the current is passing through the cables so 1 volt will drop here and the voltage which is appearing across the load terminals here will be equal to 99 minus 1 will be equal to 98 volts okay so here the rated voltage of this network is equal to 100 volts and we are supplying 98 volts at 1 ampere this is just an example so percentage voltage applied equal to here will be equal to 98 divided by 100 volts that should be available so here it will be equal to um, 98 divided by 100 into 100 so 98 percent percentage voltage 98 percent and voltage drop percentage voltage drop here will be equal to percentage voltage drop will be equal to here in this case is equal to 2 percent okay because the remaining voltage, these two percent, one percent each voltage are dropped across the line and the source impedance. So this is basically uh, the example of percentage voltage drop. But uh, 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 why the percentage voltage drops are important? I have a separate training uh, on Udemy, actually. So in this training, you can. I uh, let me show you. I have a separate training and in this training uh, you, uh, I have shown that how you can calculate 
the percentage voltage drops uh, and you can calculate the cable sizing calculations so this trailing will be used so basically this training is under under understanding cable sizing and voltage drop calculations if you are interested you can if you want to know that how we have to design a cable and how the cable uh, it is decided that which cable should be used and here you can also study in detail the short circuit and continuous rating calculations also so it will be really beneficial you can calculate the voltage drops and you can also calculate the permissive voltage drops in this uh, calculations so let's go back to our topic so why it is important to calculate percentage voltage drop because uh, if you get any voltage appliances in, in in domestic use or in, in in the field use or in the industry it is supplied with a parameter like rated voltage for example just an example it's 100 volts and it can for example work between 110 volts to for example 90 volts so it means if the voltage go beyond beyond 90 it, it, it will go below beyond 90 then this device can get damaged and if the voltage also go above one then the device cannot work satisfactory or its life will be damaged so that's why it's important to have um, the equipment that should be purchased should have um, the volt good voltage regulation it should work on high uh, good high or low voltages but at the same time if if equipment designed to work on more or less voltages uh, on, on a big big range that the cost will increase so there, there that's why uh, when you're doing you're purchasing something and when the system is designed in any country they are considering the supply fluctuations and they are designing the equipment accordingly so where the power supply quality is good the voltage regulation of percentage voltage drop or difference of voltage will be less and where the power quality is very poor the voltage fluctuation will be high and you can see that the equipment will be on basically the risk and at the other hand we have to use the equipment which can bear more voltage uh, drops personal voltage drops so this is basically the example that we need to understand and we need to apply thank you very much